stopping local drunk drivers before they start. We're going to show you the items some people might have to wear 24-7 to prevent them from driving drunk. Because of some tragic drunk driving fatalities in the Seattle area, lawmakers may follow South Dakota's lead in a program to stop drunk drivers from reoffending. It's not a treatment, but a compliance plan that monitors them around the clock to make sure they aren't drinking. New at 530, Kyra 7's Chris Lagueros is here with one of the tools used to do that. Chris. This is called a scram bracelet. Judges here in Washington are already using them to monitor those accused and convicted of drunk driving, but they could get much wider use if state lawmakers approve because of their ability to measure alcohol secreted through the skin. How much have you had to drink tonight? To stop drunk drivers from offending again and again, South Dakota has a 24-7 sobriety program, one that its attorney general told us via Skype requires offenders to walk into a sheriff's office twice a day and blow into a breathalyzer to prove they aren't drinking. And if they blow hot uh, as if they've had any alcohol, uh, then oftentimes they go straight to jail and then they have to address it with the court. And if that defendant can't drive or conveniently get to a sheriff's office, then he or she has to wear one of these scram ankle bracelets. So that's where the actual reading is being taken. It can tell when someone's been drinking by measuring alcohol secreted through the skin. So it's measuring the ethanol that's being released from your pores. Dan Altvater works for the company that makes and sells the bracelet. The device transmits data to a base station at an offender's home, which sends the information to analysts at the company in Denver. If it detects an offender is drinking or even tampering with the device, it alerts the court. In South Dakota, research shows this program has cut the likelihood of drunk drivers reoffending by 12 percent. Altvater says if someone doesn't drink for 90 days, the chance of getting rearrested drops by as much as 46 percent. It's really the first time in an offender's life where they have been held accountable to not, to not drink. Marty Jackley, the Attorney General of South Dakota, says the program is cost-effective because offenders pay for it and it's reduced his prison population because people can be monitored while at home or while they're at work. He is encouraging Washington to at least try a pilot project here.